Hey everyone, it's MacCop Tutorials, and I'm going to show you how to make my logo in Photoshop Elements 3. So first, you're going to open up with the screen, and you want to click Start from Scratch. T name it whatever you want, I'll just name it. I'll just type in random stuff, and you want to make it a yeah, square, 512 by 512, 256 by 256, 128, however large you want it. And you can make it transparent. I kind of like transparent. It's kind of cool. So I hit OK. It's going to open up this. And here's my, basically my first layer. And what you're going to do, if you want to make it a circle, go ahead and do that. You're going to draw your circle out. And mine's blue right now, but I'm going to change that to like red. And um, here we go. Right there, so let's fill it up. And I'm gonna make it, um, let's see, I don't know. Uh, I'll fill the color with like red. Something, like, something in the red family. There. There. And then what I'm gonna do is right here under outer glows, um, you're gonna do, I did heavy on mine. Or no, it wasn't heavy, it was a different one. It was under, uh, Bevels. You go down, you can do either whichever one of these you want. Inner Ridge. Wacky Metallic always looks pretty cool. Uh, simple Sharp. Wh basically, whatever of these right here you want. I'll try Simple Sharp Inner. Let's drag it into this. As you can see, the outside's a little bit different, and the shadow. The, uh, the glow on the outside is kind of different. Or no, that's actually like a shadow, but... See, oops. Let's change that back. Put a border on it. And then you're, you add typing. Go into this little T right there for text. Zoom out. Right there. And you're going to type basically in whatever, whatever you want. Um, type in. Oh yeah. One sec, I'm going to change it. I'm going to drag it basically. I'm going to go up to your moving tool and you're going to drag it in right here. As you can see I have an icon. It's a circle. And then you're going to go to save. File, save as. You're gonna do whatever you named it. Dot, either JPEG or PNG. I'll do PNG. Where, wherever you want. You actually don't have to do PNG up there, but just wait a second. This happens sometimes. Sorry. Let's see if it's responding. Nope, sorry, I'm s this is pretty messed up. Oh, now it's back. So here it is, and you don't want to do the .png yet. You've got a format, you're going to do any of these you want. I'll do the .png. You click Save. <clears throat> and you click OK, unless you want it to be interlaced. You go to your desktop, and here, here's my icon right here, and as you can see, the background's like transparent. It shows up as being white right there. Or gray here, but as you can see, it's transparent. Or I'll delete that and I'll do another one. Like, I'll make this a little smaller. Or I'll make it, put it like up there. I'll put another circle in, like, here. As you can see, I have another circle right here. And I'll drop the color. I'll drop a different color in, like blue. No, nope. I don't want to do that. I'll do like uh, I don't know, like a little darker blue. See how that goes. There to see, and then I'll do try. You go to file. Remember, you go to save as. 
and it's transparent. It doesn't have to be, if it's not transparent, the background is going to be white, but I'll go to File, Save As, you want Format, PNG, and this probably works with Photoshop Elements 6 or 7, whatever is out right now, but I like 3 more. Save it, save. So now on the desktop I have the one that I just made in the background right here and right here are <coughs> they're transparent so thanks for watching and I hope you liked it and you can do this in most applications like fireworks but you have to go to transparent and you have to go like it's pretty confusing I like Photoshop Elements 3 the most but thanks for watching comment, rate, and subscribe my videos and to see the whole video you're gonna have to go to my website Thanks.